right, wait till we get a few people in here. Uh, good morning. Good morning. Uh, I promised you an update. Um, and uh, how's everybody doing this morning? everybody's doing pretty good hey no monkey business what's up okay we got a few people in here let's try to get five and then I'll get started um, I wanted to give you guys an update on this story of a uh, young black man named Marcus Carr um, he was found hung uh, behind Walmart so I wanted to give you guys the updated story on uh, what happened so alright let's get some more people in here and please share this please please share this and uh, let's have a conversation about it let's talk about it so Can everybody hear me okay? If you can hear me, give me a one. In the comment section, give me a one if you can hear me. So. Yeah. We need to do the front name. Yeah, okay, you guys can hear me okay. We'll get started. So. All right, uh, make sure you guys share this as well. Like, um, we got to get this, this story out there. Okay, so I'll start. The story of a local black man found hanging behind a Walmart near Decatur in Charleston uh, went viral in the Valley on Monday. Many viewers tagged News 3 on social media and called on our station for answers. We have confirmed with family in the corner that it was indeed, in fact, a suicide. On Wednesday, someone found a 35-year-old Marcus Carr hanging from a fence behind the Walmart. He died on the way to the hospital. Uh, his family tells uh, News 3, uh, Las Vegas police uh, told them that Marcus died by suicide, but they were left with so many other uh, questions. Uh, quote uh, from the family members, actually his auntie. Uh, we never received any reports. We were not able to view the body. We, we wanted evidence. We needed to see documents. We needed to see a report. We wanted to talk to the police. And we had a lot of questions, said Carr's auntie, uh, auntie Jackie Jones. Desperate for answers, the the family took to Facebook. Their post gained traction with hundreds of Valley residents weighing in. Some people uh, commented suggesting a lynching. Hey, Miss. Hey, Miss B. How you doing? <laughs> uh, or foul play, but that wasn't the case. I just want everybody to know that, unfortunately, Marcus was going through something we were not aware of said Jones, uh, end quote. In, uh, in, in the past month, four black men in the U.S. were found hanging, two in California, one in New York, and another in Texas. Those deaths were also ruled suicides, but some of the families have disputed that particular finding. Uh, this could be why news, uh, this could be why news, another hanging uh, death sent shockwaves through our uh, particular community. Uh, quote, it did blow up and we appreciate all the love and support because we know if it was the other way around, the community would be there, Jones said. Uh, Carr's family says after meeting with Metro Police Wednesday evening, they got the answers they needed and they're certain that his death was a suicide. 
There's footage of a prior event that kind of led to it. They did show us some documentation, pictures, and footage, and it led us to believe, okay, this this is what happened, Jones explained. The family was asked for private. The family has asked for privacy as they grieve. If you are someone you know is dealing with suicide thoughts, there's always help available. So that is the update. Um, so basically, the, the family agrees with the analysis and report of uh, the police, the Metro Las Vegas police. Um, I, I'm going to give my opinion, my analysis uh, on, on this particular situation because it's again, it's a pattern. Um, again, there was there was two in California. There was one in New York. Uh, I also believe there was one in uh, Georgia as well. Um, and now this this hanging. Um, no, it wasn't from a tree, but it was uh, it was from uh, a, a fence this time. Hey, Stephanie, how are you? Um, so my opinion on this particular situation that people were just now coming in, uh, the update is that, um, the, a family agrees with the ruling as far as this young man, uh, being, uh, suicidal. They, so they agree stating that he did it himself. Um, they say they have, uh, Photos, documents, and even footage of him, uh, I guess, committing the act, I guess. Um, I, I'm going to state my opinion, and I, I want to still be respectful uh, to the family. Um, how do I state this? Um I don't believe it. I, I don't believe it, it was a, a suicide. I really don't believe it. Um, some footage of that particular uh, incident would have been on, on, you know, posted or something. Something, or, or at least images, pictures of him walking in that area. Something. Even if you don't show the whole footage, um, at least pictures of him walking toward that area or something. So they're not providing any of that. And um, in some cases, uh, families have been paid off uh, by law enforcement or government uh, agencies stating that, hey, we just need you to, you know, kind of make this go down, die this down real quick. We don't need that particular attention in this this community because uh, an uprise or uproar would happen. Was there a back entry? Um, hey, one, hey, that one girl. Um, mean, like in the, I don't, I don't know if he went through uh, Walmart and came out uh, that I'm not sure. Um, that's the saying. I think we need more information than what they're they're telling us. Uh, I'm thinking that the family is going to receive a check on this, um, either from Walmart or the, you know, the police uh, or or government officials themselves. Uh, and I think they were paid to say that. Um, just like in, uh, for instance, uh, my lady let me know this today. Uh, when it came to the uh, the Floyd uh, the the George Floyd situation, the brother was advised by um, Benjamin Crump to uh, tell everybody to calm down with the writings and the lootings because when it came to the uh, the wrongful death suit, uh, they would get more money. Uh, from that situation, if they tell the community just to, to calm down, you know, this is not the way to go. My brother wouldn't want this. There's always some money attached to this. And again, I'm trying to be respectful to the to the family. I, I don't know this for sure, 
it's just my analysis and I'm, I'm going off of history of when people were paid off just to be quiet. Uh, this is nothing new. Um, um, if the man did uh, commit suicide, uh, you know, um, I, you know, mental health is, is a big issue in America. And we, you know, I take that uh, extremely serious. And, uh, and, uh, I'm, I, you know, I wish the young man have had the resources to, to get some help if that did happen. Um, but I really feel like that did not happen. I, I really feel it just does not add up. It's, you know, it was very vague. Um, I, I just don't agree with that. I just, I really don't. Um, most of the rioters and looters weren't involved with the protests and it was white nationalists trying to die. I agree. Absolutely. Uh, they were also, um, there were also known, uh, police too. Police were, uh, were undercover, um, acting as rioters and breaking stuff. And then there were, uh, white supremacists who were paying people off to, um, uh, hey, go ahead and I'll, I'll give you a certain amount of money if you if you break this glass window or if you put BLM um, so it, it can be brought back to the black people or there would be uh, perfectly set up bricks and rocks very organized in one particular spot for looters and rioters to throw at the particular uh, police uh, <laughs> that the police would put right there, you know? We've seen it, uh, not just only in America, there's there's, there's a video of uh, uh, Canadian police doing the same thing. Because remember, they were protesting, they have been protesting around the world, not just in America. They've been protesting around the world. Um, I used to find your point of view hard to believe, Ms. B, but it's becoming more and more evident by the day. Miss B is the G. Okay, uh, <laughs> she she's she's a beast, um, and and heed heed her words, um, but uh, yeah, I I'm just being that's just my honest opinion. Um, again, uh, I have nothing but love and respect for the for the family. It's disgusting that there's still so many hate still in this world. Yeah, it it is. It's 2020. You know, but um, unfortunately, hate was the foundation that created this particular country. Um, this this country w was built off uh, off of hate. Um, I met the blood and 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 pictures of people being hung and raped and all that type of stuff uh, are are factual artifacts that, you know, America is not, you know, what it is perceived to be in third world countries, you know. Uh, uh, America is a very ugly place. It is so hard to hate, it takes too much time to energy. Yeah, hating is the easy thing, you know. Love, you can't, you can't, first of all, you can't beat love. Love uh, sometimes it's a hard thing to do because it's uh, it might to try to have love for your enemies or the people that dislike you or disagree with you. That's hard. That's a hard thing to do, but that is the logical thing to do. Um, us as activists, uh, we we don't discriminate. You know, we're here for everybody: white, black, Puerto Rican. Uh, you know, it's been, all doesn't matter. Uh, when we advocate, we advocate for everybody, and um, even people that doesn't like our ad advocacy and disagrees uh, with our, our our moral logic, as far as us filming police and and really getting uh, a, accountability met in our community. Um, and sometimes we have to have those 
uncomfortable conversations, well, uncomfortable for the police uh, to get things done. Canada, we are building a wall on the wrong border. <laughs> Uh, I appreciate your service, Miss B. Um, I can't work corrections for 24. Yeah, I've also worked in corrections as well. And, uh, I actually had to, I actually had to leave corrections because I just seen too much. Um, and I had integrity and I just, I couldn't do it. I was just like, nah, some, some of you cats. So, and I'm not. I'm not talking about the the inmates or the clients. I'm I'm, I'm talking about uh, the people who work there, the higher ups. Um, it was just some things that I seen that just was not right, and I spoke up on it. And uh, I wasn't going to be part of an entity that was going to abuse their power uh, just because they were afforded to have it. I saw in the '70s when I was hanging out with my nephew, who was only. Bad name. The little girl should oop disappeared. Uh, little white girl should be playing with him. Mm. Yes, too much corruption with the staff. Yeah, uh, I called it. I called it. I called them out at staff meetings. I really did. But um, but yeah. Um, again, uh, it's still a sad situation. Um. Um, uh, about. Um, what's going on uh, in this in this society as far as uh, young men being hung uh, you know th just this case he was hung from a, a fence so all I'm saying is that um, we need more information uh, pertaining to that and um, uh, I, I, I'm going to try to get Try to get more answers on this because um, I I'm just not buying it. I'm not buying the whole just suicide thing. And here, and if I'm if I'm incorrect, I I don't mind uh, admitting that I was wrong or I got it wrong. But it's just things like this have happened too many times in the the community of of color, uh, where people would just be hung and then just called a suicide and it was a full-blown noose so uh, from what it was reported so I just I just don't I don't agree on that that particular uh, analysis or that report so again if I'm wrong uh, I'm, I'm wrong um, either way it's still bad you know you, even if the young man did it himself or he was or or somebody else did it to him. It's it's uh, it's just still bad. Mental health is is um is it is a dire need to 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 have your mind clear and be be insane and um making sure you're spiritually and mentally healthy to uh be being able to even function in this particular society. And some people are just afraid to even speak up on their diagnosis and um, uh, and uh, it's 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 pretty sad. So, but I just wanted to get with you guys and let you know the update. Um, please leave your comments in the comment section. I would love to hear what you guys have to say about the situation. Me personally, I think it's I I don't agree. Uh, with this and I'm going to try to do some more investigation to try to get more answers uh, of this situation um, but I, I don't agree with it uh, and, and the, the, the information that I gave to you was pretty vague and it was kind of like you know it, it was like well you know, we gave you, we were provided pictures, video footage, and, and a report, and we're happy and satisfied with that particular answer, so, but uh, the public still left, like, wondering, and I think it's, I think it's imperative that the public needs to know about this, because um, hangings are happening, and they've been happening uh, uh, towards black people, 
and people and people of color. So it's just um, they, you know, we we need to be aware of of things like this. So um, to everybody watching, I appreciate you guys. I love you guys. You guys are freaking awesome. Uh, thank you guys for listening and um, being so loyal and uh, viewing my content. Uh, uh, I would like to give more content to you guys. If you want me to start uh, start showing videos and uh, of other cases of uh, just misconduct, I will um, also provide those to that particular um, situation. Thank you, uh, Monkey Business. Appreciate it. You guys be safe. Love you guys. You guys are, are the bomb.com. And you know what I say. It's your boy DJK Dot. I'm out. One.